How to edit category page in WordPress with Elementor. In this video, we're going to be talking about WordPress and how you can edit your very own category page in the easiest and most simplest way using Elementor. Okay, so to start things off, what you're going to be doing is you're going to come over to your WordPress and you're going to make sure you have Elementor. Okay, so to have Elementor for yourself, you're going to come over to your plugins. And once we come over to our plugins, we're going to go ahead and search in Ella Mentor. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to search up Elementor and here you're going to get Elementor Website Builder. So you're going to come over here. Okay, and once you come over here, you're going to click on install. And once you click on install, obviously, it's going to be activated. So I already have it. So I'm just going to keep it this way. Now, once you do this, you're going to do uh, this by coming over to pages. And once you come over to pages, obviously, you're going to click on add new page. Now, once we click on add new page, basically, we're going to be creating our category page. OK, so click on add new page and this will basically advance you into this main section where it's going to ask you, you know, what kind of page do you want? Do you want it to be a store page? Do you want it to be a normal page? I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to come here and we're going to go ahead and write um, any random post. So let's say I'm going to write top 10 um wonders of the world okay and then we're gonna come here into this writing block and i'm gonna go ahead and write some uh, thing through ai so write me a description of the top 10 wonders of the world by giving each of them a heading okay we're gonna do that and uh, go ahead and start writing it in so as you can see it goes on and on so great wall of china we have petra christ the redeemer machu picchu and it goes on and on so once it's all done you're gonna copy it and you're gonna come to the writing block and paste it and once we paste it here we have this post up and running pretty simple pretty straightforward all right now, once this is done, we have, you know, a proper uh, featured image and to, you know, create a category of this. First of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that it's as a default template and that it's an archive post. OK, because once you create these uh, archive, you're going to make sure that it's, you know, visible to everyone and you can edit, uh, edit it straight away with Elementor. So I'm going to go ahead, go to publish. Obviously, the visibility is good to go. And we're going to click on publish right away. Now this page is published. Now what you're going to do is you're going to move on back to your main WordPress space. And once we move on back to our main WordPress space, what you're going to do over here is you're also going to go over to posts. OK, and in post, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new post. Now, once you click on add new post, it's going to basically give you a whole post section where we're going to do the same. OK, so you're going to make sure to add title top 10 wonders of the world. And uh, we're simply going to go here, choose this writing block and we're going to paste our text. So once this text is in, what you can do is you're going to go ahead to publish. Once you go out to publish, you can basically, you know, change its settings if you want to make it public, if you want to, you know, assign a category to it. So basically, this is where we're going to give it a category name um, information about the world. That's what we're calling it. This is obviously the pairing category. And, uh, you know, you're simply going to click on add new category and that basically assigns it to information about the world. So once you do that, you're going to click on publish again. And now we have this post published. Now what you're going to do is, you know, one of the main bits, because now we're going to come over here and we're going to go over to our Elementor templates and we're going to go to theme builder. So once you go over to theme builder, what you're going to do is you're either going to go to single page or single post, you know, whatever you want to go with. And uh, obviously, 
to go with this, you will want to make sure that you have the updated and bought version of the Elementor editor. Because if you don't have the upstaged version of uh, Elementor, you will not be able to do this. So I'm going to go over to my Elementor home. And here, I'm going to click on create a page. Once you click on create a page, it's going to take you to your main editor where it's going to ask you to, you know, add templates and uh, all the other whatnots. So I'm simply going to wait for this to load me in to the Elementor space. And once we are loaded into the Elementor space, what we're going to want to do over here is we're going to basically add our archive post. Okay. So what you can do is you're going to search archive post over here now obviously currently i don't have the updated version so i will not be able to add this but if you go ahead and add the archive post this will basically add the post that we just created which is the category post okay and while you add that that is basically how you're going to be editing your category page and you can obviously make it uh, more involved you can make it look more better by adding containers into it and obviously once we add containers what you can do is you can move over back to the editor okay and uh, in the editor you're gonna add elements like uh, let's say a heading and over here i'm gonna go ahead and write something like um archives okay and right under archives you can go ahead and start creating your archive posts and obviously to get the archive post and i told you that you're going to want to upgrade your Elementor plan. Now, upgrading the Elementor plan is pretty simple. You can unlock the full range of these pro features by going over to any of these plans. You can even go with the Essential plan. It's pretty simple. It's $4.92 a month, which is relatively pretty cheap, according to other, you know, editors out there. And uh, what we can simply do is get this plan for ourselves, apply it, and we're pretty much good to go. So, yeah, that is basically how you are going to go ahead and, uh, you know, basically edit your category pages through Elementor for your WordPress. And then what you can do is finally go ahead and view your website and you're going to have all your archive posts in one section. So, you know, that is pretty much about it. That is how you can set all these things up for yourself and you're good to go. Now, if you went ahead and enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Also, if you have any issues with this video, let me know down in the comments and I'll be, you know, well enough ready to help you with your issues. And yeah, that is pretty much about it for this video. So again, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.